Hello everybody, this time we are rather tentatively going to be having a go at playing the single player Act 2, Bridge the Trench, created by Connie Bun for the Thinking with Portals Diversion Contest where it won 5th place. So a very big thank you to Connie Bun for this one, and I do, I do like a good fidgety panel. Uh, recently I've been struggling to find interesting weird maps for the Friday videos and I figured hey you know what Connie Bun's Perfect. good for the weird the stuff. Malfunctioning. What again? I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. That would be you GLaDOS no, it's rarely something you. I can fix. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Okay yep yeah. so as I was saying yeah Connie Bun's maps tend to have something a little bit unusual about them and they usually involve Oh god, it's starting already. Uh, they usually involve sprites. Now, I was going to be wondering if the sprites were going to be friendly, but um, judging by the looks and sounds of things, no. No, they are not. Okay, fine, I'll play along. Uh, let's go ahead and open you. What in the hell is that already? Yeah, I got a pretty pretty strong feeling that the sprites are not going to be friendly in this one. Um, climb through, it's coming back. Yep, that is horrific as hell, whatever it may be. What's this? Climb through tunnel. Climb through tunnel. Climb through tunnel. And I'm here now. Okay, so that's a tunnel apparently. And there is a gigantic, horrific-looking creature stalking about the place, and... He's close, isn't he? Yeah, okay, so I think this qualifies as not only a Weird Friday map, in typical Cunny Bun style, but I think we're going to go ahead and add this to the Portal Horror Experiences playlist as well. Uh, the target doesn't appear to do anything. Leave me be. Leave me be. Okay. I'm pretty certain if he touches me, bad things are going to happen. I'm kind of interested to see what happens if he does touch me. At the same time, I'm absolutely horrified of the fact. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Ah, this way. Ah! Okay, I think we just found out what happens if he touches you. It's not good. It looks cool, but it's really not good. Yeah, okay, climb through tunnels. I guess we can use the tunnels to avoid him then. Ah! Right, so yes, avoid avoid any contact with whatever the hell that is. I'd actually really kind of like to get a really good look at him. I mean, I assume him, hi. I assume him. It's probably not a good idea to assume the gender of the horrific pixelated monstrosity stalking about the rather pixelated World War II-esque trench, I'm guessing? That would explain the title, right? Let's climb through a tunnel to get rid of uh, the on-screen indicator helpers. I thought that was another monster for a moment. That appears to be very square sandbags. He's coming, isn't he? Okay, so there's a target. I don't know what to do with the target. Can I do anything with the skull? No? Okay, so find our way out of the maze-like trench monstrosity, avoiding the pixelated monstrosity. That was a plane, avoiding the pixelated monstrosity who is also stalking about the place. Yep, it's a typical Connie Bun-esque map. Um, that's a dead end. Dead ends would be very bad at this time. That is a very dark dead end. He's close. Rumbling means close, right? Yep, there he is. Please don't see me. Okay, he doesn't see me in the dark. Somehow, in this world, he doesn't see you in the dark. That tunnel has blood. Well, that makes that one more interesting to me. Um, I don't think that helped. There's a bone. Can I do it? He's close. Can I do anything with the bone? No? Oh, I think I went back through the tunnel. Uh, let's go back that side. And, yeah, I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing. It's, uh, it's a horror maze map, isn't it? There, that, that, that particularly is horrible. Yeah, okay, okay. You don't see me here for some reason. You give me a break. You turn down there, meaning I'm going to go this way because hopefully that would be the longest possible opportunity before encountering you again. Uh, nope, that's a dead end. Dead end's bad. Do not want dead ends yet. I know climb through tunnels. I don't think they really help because I have no idea what's going on with this layout of this maze. 
That's the target again. I don't think the target's much use for me yet right now. What is that? Is that anything I can do anything with? Every time I stop to look at things, he tends to turn up, so let's not pause for too long if we can. That's a dead end. That's the same dead end again. Okay, let's go through this tunnel, shall we? Uh, is this better? Is this closer? Is this further? Further would be preferable. It's just going to turn up at some point again, right? Where even is it? That's a random tunnel. Okay, fine. I'll follow you. To... What is that now? Pick up item. I have a weapon. I have a pixelated World War II S rifle. That does... Um, It blinks. It blinks and makes a pleasant binging noise. Okay. Well, maybe... Maybe whatever the fuck this thing is... Isn't fond of... The flashing light and pleasant binging noise. There's only one way to tell. Where is he? Where is he? Need to test this thing on him and see what it actually does. Uh, is he this way? Not really sure what's going on with his pat. This is exactly where I just was at. Go away. Okay, that appears to temporarily pause him. I'm going to chase him down for science. Uh, where do you go? Where do you go around the corner? Take that. Yeah, okay. Where? Well, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. Okay, so I can temporarily pause him with this. Take that. And that will, I suppose, be beneficial as we still desperately crawl all around this maze-like structure. Where is he? This is where we started. Desperately crawl around this maze-like structure, looking for any sort of clue as to what the hell it is we're supposed to do. Wait, isn't there a target? The target? The target does... The target... The target didn't really help. Okay, uh, let's get away from him. Oh. Oh. Uh. Did, did I break it? Did the map break? We've fallen through. What's the flashing lights? What is the flashing lights over here? I never found whatever this was. I don't think I can do anything with it anymore because we appear to have fallen through the actual map in a way that makes me wonder if I've broken the map. What was that? I never even found that. Have I actually broken this? Although, that seems weirdly specifically out of place. And it is a Connie Bun map. Do I interact with you? Do I do anything with you? I fall through you. I fall through you back into... Back into Aperture. Okay. It was apparently all a horrible, horrible pixel-induced nightmare. Um, so I guess that was the, uh, the diversion portion of this map, which I, yeah, that was quite the diversion. Um, I found a portal gun again. Things are seemingly back to normal for now. That's some rat man art. Uh, I see portalable surfaces up there. Our gun was conveniently left upon one. Is everything back to normal? I don't feel like you can use those terms lightly in a Connie Bun map, to be completely honest. Quite recently, we got pelted with bean cans, and before that, sprites have popped up out of nowhere and murdered us. Murdered us in ways most horrific, so... Okay, I'm fully expecting another jump scare at this point. I mean, you could literally just fall through the map again with the way this one's going. There was a brief shaking there. Shaking means that thing's coming. We're fading to dark. We're going back into the dreamland. The horrific pixelated dreamland. No, we're actually just going to the end. Uh, yeah, okay then. Horrific as always. And I feel like that may have thoroughly met the Thinking With Portals diversion contest requirements. That was single player act two, Bridge the Trench, created by Connie Bun. So a very big thank you to Connie Bun for that one. Always wonderfully bizarre and always a lot of fun. And once again, you can never trust the sprites. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.